cocaine sharks. Now, before you judge me, give me a second, because scientists are looking into whether sharks are getting high on cocaine after drug smugglers dumped cocaine in the ocean trying to evade authorities. Marine biologists have been noticing some strange behavior. Take a look. You notice how she's swimming? Yeah, it looks like she's slightly on the one side. Almost like she's weighted down. She's not quite level. Now that is unusual. Could be a past injury, or maybe a chemical imbalance. Either way, something to note for sure. Turns out even sharks have chemical imbalances. Joining me now from our sister network Discovery's Cocaine Sharks, wildlife biologist and Shark Week expert, Forrest Galante. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Sarah, how are you? <laughs> All right, it sounds insane, cocaine sharks. I don't know, I, just saying it um, makes me concerned that people are gonna think I'm insane. But how is this a possibility? Well, to be clear, uh, it is insane. I mean, what happens is, as you can imagine, human beings have a large impact on the environment, no matter what we do or where we go. And what potentially you may be seeing in this clip, which to be clear, I have nothing to do with, uh, is where sharks may have some sort of impact from drugs and other pharmaceuticals in the water. You know, we've seen that in places in South Florida, bonefish in particular are testing incredibly high for antidepressants that have been dumped into the ocean and other parts of the ocean. There are other pharmaceuticals that are being absorbed through the, through the food chain and through the skin. And that bioaccumulates so that the sharks that ultimately eat these fish may actually suffer some negative consequences.